Hi guys, my wife had some fish again, mackerel fillets, it's in one of these nice aluminium trays. I've washed it out and I've re-modelled uh, one of my previous aluminium tube boilers. Now this one was originally horizontal circles and it was only about three coils. I've tightened the coils, we've now got five coils and that should fit in there quite nicely. I did one like this not so long ago but the coil was nearer the front. This time I've got the coil nearer the middle. I'm hoping to get the balance better because the other one I had to add some weight at the back to get it to balance. So I'm hoping by pushing the coil further back we should get a better balance this time. So I'll pull that off. I'll put a bit of hot glue on the bottom just to hold the pipes in place. Stick a tea light in there and see if it works. Well, let's see if it works. How about does it float? Yeah, that looks okay. Give it some water. getting it into the hole because they're a bit oh, that's better that's all the way through okay one of these sparkly tea lights we were given for Christmas takes to get going. Pretty quick. <laughs> There's a lot of motion in that one. That'll probably be the water moving around changing the balance, wouldn't it?
looks like it wants to go the other way around, doesn't it? Nope. <laughs> I think on a bigger, more stable boat, that would probably go quite fast. But I'm happy with that. I guess I'm going to have to make a noisy one again sometime. That's what people like, they like to hear them going pop. Well, it works. That's probably long enough. I was looking at the prices of um, shim stock, brass and copper and steel. That's the very thin plates of metal. And it's incredibly expensive. Or at least for my purposes anyway. So I think I'll be sticking to aluminium cans, drink cans, that sort of thing. Or things like this. Because I simply can't afford to spend the money it would cost to make them out of brass shim stock. So there we go. That works. Job done. Before I do stop, I do get quite a few questions on the ones where I've used hot glue and epoxy resin to seal, seal the pipes. Well, there you go. Those pipes aren't hot. Well, they're slightly warm, but I can assure you I'm not burning my fingers at all. And that's still pumping away there. Because that's the whole point. When the steam gets out here, it condenses straight away because it's cold. And it turns back to water and the pressure pushes the cold water back in. So that should answer another one of those questions. How hot do they get? Obviously it's hot there, that's where the flame is. But the rest of it is relatively cold because that's how it works. There you are, not being brave or butch or anything. It's warm, but it's not burning my fingers. It will do if it gets really hot, because then the steam gets further down the pipes before it condenses. There's so much motion going on with that one, isn't there? I'm not advising you to get hold of the pipes, I'm just demonstrating, so because you may well find that you find the hot bit. And one other thing I've just thought after I've turned the camera off again. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.